What's going on guys? My name is Alejandro Paulino, Drill Team Dynamics Associate and Sin City Drillers Commander. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to speed up your drill. And I'm going to show you four different ways of how I got my speed up in my drill for any sequence or individual movement. Alright guys, a few safety tips before you start. You are spinning fast, so it is going to be a lot more dangerous to handle. So just be aware of uh, your limits. Don't try to go super fast. Just be aware of how fast you can spin individually. So just a little safety tip before we start. Alright guys, so the first step in how to increase your speed is technique. That's, that's number one. So it doesn't matter what movement or segment you're picking. I'm, I'm going to show you this one for instance. I'm going to do it as slow as possible. So I get the technique down. I want to make sure my hand placements are on point every time. And pretty much if I can do the movement without having to look at the rifle, then I'm golden, okay? And once you get comfortable with whatever, whatever movement or segment that you're doing, then you can move on to the next step. All right guys, step two in the process of, of drilling fast is gradual increase of the drill. So once you get the technique down, which is important, you want to slowly increase the speed uh, every, every time you try the movement. So I'm gonna do the movement two times slow, two times medium, two times, you know, a little higher than that, and then and on the fourth time, I'm gonna go as fast as I can. So ready? Super slow, stop. Super slow, stop. A little faster. Three times, a little bit faster. And super fast. Okay, so gradual increase. Remember, be aware of your hand placements, understand your technique, and don't go too fast to where you're just gonna lose control. Go as fast as you're able to go. All right guys, so third step is gonna be your bearing and your body control, super important. Once you combine the technique and the gradual increase uh, in your movements, you wanna be making sure that your body and your bearing is on point. Because if you're swaying back and forth or side to side during your routine, what's what's drilling fast gonna do for you? Absolutely nothing on the score sheets. So you wanna make sure that you show the judges exactly how much control and power you have over that weapon. So that's when the, that's when your bearing and body control come in handy. So when I'm doing it, I'm stone cold looking straight forward. My body's not swaying, I have full control and I'm, I'm at the position of attention. That's very important. If you want to get as many points as you, as you can and, and impress the judges that much, you got to make sure uh, that your bearing and body control is on point. Once you have done step one, two, and three, the last step is going to be your stops, your power stops. How you end the movement or, or segment uh, at the end. So, if you notice, for this particular segment, I stop it straight up and down, okay? And I'm forcing it to stop, okay? Now, when you're doing step two, the gradual increase, you wanna make sure that as you're speeding up, your stops do not change. You are either adding more and more pressure to stop the rifle, okay? Because if you get lazy with your stops, it's gonna end up like this. And the rifle's just gonna, you're not gonna be able to control the weapon, okay? So you can spin fast, you can have the best bearing and the best body control in the world, but if you can't stop the rifle at a drop of a dime, then again, what's the move work? All right guys, to conclude this, just to wrap everything up, first step is technique, getting that movement down, understanding it 100%. Second step is gonna be gradual increase of the movement, okay? Slowly increasing the speed and making sure your technique is on point while you're doing it. Third step, bearing body control. Just simple, stand, stand at attention, do the movement, but making sure that it the rifle doesn't control you. And then four step your stops. Making sure whatever, however you're gonna stop the movement, it's sharp and, it, and, it, and it's angled right, okay? And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial of how to uh, spin fast. Get a lot of questions about it throughout the years. And I came up with the best four ways to increase your speed. So thank you for watching.